Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making another custom crybaby. So these are just a few of the customs that I've made recently. You can have a look at those in my videos. And here is my brand new blank plaster of Paris baby ready to decorate. And we are going to be doing sprinkles. Yes guys, we are going to be continuing on with a sweetie theme. I'm going to be doing a hundreds and thousands sprinkle baby. So these are my little foam balls I'm going to use. If you remember, this was my chocolate baby we made not so long ago. She even had some some lovely drizzly chocolate sauce and she was covered in chocolate cookies and chocolate ice creams and all sorts of yummy things. So we're carrying on that yummy theme today and we are making a hundreds and thousands sprinkle baby. So the first thing I am going to do is paint her face. I've got my skin tones at the ready and then I'm also going to paint her body. I'm going to use a pale pearly pink and this is just in case any of the body shows through the sprinkles. So I'm starting, I've time lapsed my colouring the skin tone, I'm doing her face and her hands and then I'm going to cover her whole body with that pink paint. It doesn't have to be very neat because it's all going to be covered over anyway. Now I have decided to give her some pink hair, just the same as the body, because actually we're not going to be seeing much of the pink paint on the body because it's going to be covered with sprinkles. So I'm going to give her that lovely pearly pink hair. Now that I have finished painting my baby, I am going to start work on her face. Um, I want to get all the face done first and then I'm going to glue the body and add the sprinkles right at the end. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting down a base coat of white for the eyes. I normally do two coats of this, so very carefully put the first coat on. I normally use a hair dryer just to dry the paint quickly so that I can carry on painting. It dries really quickly, this acrylic paint, and then add another coat, and then we'll be ready to add the colours. So I'm going to use a matching paint for the body. It's a pearly purple colour. And I love the way the purple eyes look. I'm using it for her eyebrows as well. And it's such a pale, shimmery colour. It's so pretty. Okay, my next step, once my purple paint has dried, is to add in the pupils. So I'm using some black acrylic paint just to paint in some circles over the colour. And I'm going to be using some of this bright hot pink to give her some nice bright lips just to brighten her up a bit although I don't think she's going to need much brightening up once she's got those sprinkles all over her she's going to be pretty colorful but still I like these hot pink lips Now that we've done that, I'm using my fine, it's a 0.3mm black liner pen and I'm just going to go over the eyelash line, over the top. It doesn't matter if a bit of the white pokes through, it doesn't notice up so badly. Um, so over there and then I draw on three little eyelashes on either side. There we go and then the finishing touches for the eyes is just to add our little white light reflections. I always just use a little toothpick to dab my little white acrylic paint. It just gets the paint on exactly where I want it to go. Nice and easy. Now that's my favourite bit guys, her eyes have come to life, her face has come to life. I'm using a little bit of bright pink pastel just to rosy up her cheeks. And then her face is about done. Now it's time to add my sprinkles. I can't wait to do this guys. I'm going to be using some PVA glue. I'm going to paint her whole body and her whole head. Uh, the only pieces I'm missing out are her hands and her hair and obviously her face. But the rest of it is getting coated in PVA glue. This is going to get messy. Okay, 
Okay guys, I'm done. Now I am going to pour my sprinkles into this little tub. Get them all out. Oh, they look great, don't they? They're so colourful. And I'm going to just roll my baby into it. Splodge. Whew. Okay, now I'm going to get busy sprinkling. Oh, if I can... I've already noticed the first error. Don't get your hands covered in glue, otherwise the balls just stick to your fingers. So I'm going to just dip her all around and chuck as many of these little balls over the wet glue as I possibly can. Now that she's covered, I'm just adding a little bit more glue over the top of some of these areas just to make sure that those balls don't all start falling off as soon as that undercoat of PVA glue is dry. So here she is guys, she has dried out really well. The balls have stuck on nicely. Now I was going to add some clear nail varnish over the top of the sprinkles and I was going to try and do that to make them shiny and also to make them stick longer. But you know what guys, it completely withdrew the colour from the balls. Luckily I only put it in a tiny patch so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be very gentle with her. I'm going to add some glitter however to her hair so I'm going to use my nail varnish, my clear nail varnish to go over the hair and then I'm just going to sprinkle in some light pink and some metallic pink just to brighten up her hair. Okay, she is done, but I want to make her a little base to stand and display her on, a bit like this one. So I'm going to personalise one for her. So here is my Plaster of Paris base, and I am just going to paint it with the hot pink that we used for her lips. And then I'm going to sprinkle over some of the glitter that we used in her hair. And then we will be ready to stick our baby onto it, ready to display. Okay, so we are done guys, this is all dried, we get that little ball off, and there, look how shimmery her little stand looks. So I'm just hot gluing both her feet, and then stick her in the centre. These Plaster of Paris babies are really heavy, so it really helps me to um, have them stuck on a stand, and that way I can display them on my shelf. I'll show you all of them one day, once I'm ready. But there we are, there is my sprinkles baby those are our real sprinkles and this is our sprinkles baby and she looks so cool doesn't she guys she's so colorful bright and she makes my whole shelf of crybabies look very very cheerful so i'm going to stand her with a couple of my other customs let's bring over my flower baby because she is also gorgeously colorful look at her i loved making this baby oh and let's put her next to baby maleficent because she's so cute okay guys well i'm all done now I don't know what you think about her, but I would love to know. Write down in the comments down below, guys. I'm just giving you a close-up look of her in the bright sunshine. She's so colourful. There's her little face. I love her eyes. I love her hair. And I especially love those sprinkles. Now all she needs is a name guys, if you can think of a name for my sprinkles baby let me know in the comments down below please and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please feel free to subscribe and then it'll notify you as soon as I release a new video. But for now I'm sending you loads of love guys. Bye bye!